Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halau Napua Halaku no Ike Kai. My name is Komu Kanoi. This is my trusty assistant, our son Ins Kalaniakea. Behind the camera there is my husband Luke. And we're excited to be back again for another Saturday Ohana Hula. And we are going to be dancing all about Pele. Yes, Eames really enjoyed that song last week, so I hope that you did too. If you didn't join us last week, no worries. We will get you caught up with a quick review of what we covered last week, which is just one verse of our Mele, Ayala Opele. So, oh, that rhymes. Our Mele, Ayala Opele. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Enough bad jokes. I think it's time. Aloha ho my welcome back. So every Saturday we start our classes the same way. We have a little routine and hopefully that is something that you look forward to every single week. We always begin with Hawaii Pono I, which is our state anthem. It was originally our national anthem, actually the fourth national anthem of the kingdom of Hawaii. I won't get into that. I'm a music teacher. I could go on and on. All right, so Hawaii Pono'i we do in honor of its composers and in honor of our Hawaii. So King David Kalakaua, Henry Berger, this one's for you. All three verses, Hawaii Pono'i, pa. Hawaii Pono'i, na na i kongo'i, kalania. for that thank you so much for doing all three verses everyone always says i didn't know there were more than one verse and that's exactly why we do it we want to introduce these things and perpetuate the poetry and the music of our people i think we are i think we're back all right so sorry for that little glitch we don't know what happened but i think we need to pray so let's have a seat. We're going to noho ilalo. And we are going to do our pule. Let's do both of our pule. We're going to do our ho'onani, our Hawaiian doxology, as well as our ekiakua. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> Starting with ho'onani, we'll do both verses. Ho'onani, pa. Ho'onani kamakua mo. Ko ka ho 
Nui, for those of you who were able to jump back on again, please forgive us. We don't know what happened there, but we're back now. So we're so happy to be with you. Uh, we just jumped right back into our prayers. We'll do our Oli Aloha in a little bit. Once you folks let us know who's back with us on the stream. But let's do our second prayer, which is E Keakua. This one is done in call and response style. So I will start. You will follow. Here we go. E Keakua. E Keakua. Mahalo no. Mahalo ya oi. No kei ala, no kei ala. Amene, amene, amene. Mahalo nui for that, and that prayer just says, "Dear God, thank you for letting us connect to Facebook." No, I'm just kidding. It says, "Thank you for this day." All right, we're gonna reverse things a little bit. We're going to go back to just our short form of our Oli Aloha. Ku Iluna, stand on up. Before we do our Oli Aloha, we want to see who made it back, who took the extra effort to come and find us. So to Patricia, mahalo. I know you hung in there right to the end. Akemi, aloha in Japan. It's nice to see you. I also see Heather Anders. Thank you so much for... Uh, Sticking with us right here in Honolulu. It's a rainy day today, so maybe that has to do with it. Who knows? Julie Shala in Malaga, Spain. Aloha. McCoy ML in Florida. Sharon Tanaka right over in Manoa Valley. Maine Felix from Anchorage, Alaska. It is nice to have you join us. Mahalo for being here. Carol Ann Buckley. I know I saw a lot of other names earlier on the stream. Hopefully they'll come back and join us. If you remember who was with us, tell them, let them know. Hey, we're back. We're back. You can share this and say, hey, we're back on. Okay, so we're going to do our Oli Aloha at this time. And I'm going to ask if you can mirror to the screen. That would be great. And so we're going to do our Oli Aloha. Yay, thanks for all the love. I really appreciate it. And so does Eames. Okay, our Oli Aloha greeting each one of you. Um, this chant by Pilahi Paki. Okay, Oli Aloha, pa. Akahai na Hawaii. Loka hiya kulike Olu olu kamana o Ha a ha a kokulana Aho nuya lana kila Aloha Very good, very good I was planning to teach the longer form of aloha, but I think we'll save that for next week when we have a little bit more uh, luck with our technology. So um, we always like to be thankful and grateful for the day. And the way that we check out the day is by asking, how's the weather? Pehea kianila. Today, it is an especially something something day. So let me see if Eames can tell you. Hey Eames, pehea kianila. It's kind of rare, actually, that we would show you the outside camera, and it is coming down. It's pouring rain. So, indeed, it is a la ua. Now, some of you, oh, hello. <laughs> they just wanted to see my mu'u mu'u. Some of you last week mentioned that it was a voggy day, like Barbara Underwood in Kailua Kona. Um, she is experiencing some volcanic um, vog. So vog is like smoke and vog and all of those those um, effects of the volcano. So today I wanted to share a little bit of vocabulary based on not uh, natural phenomena, right? In Hawaiian thought, they weren't necessarily disasters, but they were things that happened in the world. So um, over on the far, far side, you say, see the word ola'i. Ola'i means like seismic earthquakes. Yeah, so that's what we had before the volcano erupted. They were having some earthquakes over on the Big Island of Hawaii because the lava was coming up. And so that Ola'i, those earthquakes, that's what we had first. Then right next to it, you see Lawahi, and it looks like a house is on fire. The word Lawahi literally means to be destroyed by fire or lava. So luckily, so far, so good on the Big Island of Hawaii, no lawahi pele. There's no destruction of buildings or things like that. However, that 
caldera or that that crater is starting to fill up with lava so we will see um over right next to it you see the volcano with the smoke coming up pola lawahi is the term for vog so pola can mean to flap like a flapping of a flag or ribbons so if you think about the smoke coming up pola is that flapping lawahi like i said is the destruction so when you see the smoke and the fog coming up it's like a signal of the destruction and and devastation caused by fire and lava so that's pola lawahi equals fog kaie'e is a tsunami or a typhoon um sometimes it's also called kai pele which is interesting because pele of course is the goddess of fire but kai pele can also be a tsunami yes question sir Can you say like these to, to make these little icons i think so i know i found them i thought they were pretty cute for natural disasters okay we have some whipping winds outside makani pahili are hurricane winds hopefully we won't have any hurricanes this season but makani pahili is hurricane Uwila means lightning. So when you have lightning striking, that's uwila. He he'e. He'e means to slip or to slide. Like he'e nalu is to go surfing. Yeah. But he he'e is when the whole mountain is sliding down the mountain, hopefully not towards you. A landslide is called he he'e. Vai pi'i is when the water is pi'i ya'e. It's rising up. That would be your flood. Makani ka'avili is when the yeah tornado when the winds are twisting in in uh they they would say writhing writhing winds that's kind of an interesting term okay aholo hao kind of similar to hehe but this time hao meaning ice so when the ice is tumbling down the mountain that's a snow what is it called avalanche uh, but there's like a snow avalanche snow Anyway, somebody out there who knows about snow, tell us what that's called. Snow slide instead of a landslide, okay? <laughs> va malo'o is when you have a drought. It's a time period of va, of dryness. Va malo'o, okay? All right, those are your vocabulary for today, and I hope you don't have to use them. But if you haven't yet, let us know in the comments down below. Pehea kianila, how's the weather? Hopefully it's less like that one and more like the other one before. Like the nice day, pretty day, sunny day, all of that stuff. Okay, we're moving right along. Actually, at this point, I'm going to ask you to grab your ipu, grab your pole, let's noho ilalo, back down to the ground we go. And you want to go that side? This side. Okay, we're feeling a little. Okay. Let's sing our song Mele Ipu Heke Ole to make our Ipu today. Hanava Ika Ipu Heke Ole Pa Hanava Ika Ipu Heke Ole Ika Ipu Heke Ole Hanava Ika Ipu Heke Ole Ika Pa Pa Hanna No Ea Hanna Ho Hanna Ika Ipu Heke Ole Ika ipu heke ole, hana vau ika ipu heke ole, ika papa hana no eo, and stop right there. Very good. The mele that we have been learning in hula this month is called ayala opele. So I thought we would kind of go with that theme. Um, at the beginning of ayala opele, the chant, which we're not learning here today, we always start with something that's kind of like a call to order. You know when the judge takes his gavel and he goes, jum, jum. that's what we're doing with our ipu. So when you start that call to order to get everyone's attention, you're just going to hold the ipu on the ground. And with one hand on the side, you're going to give us a te te. Yes. Now, some kumuhula have different styles. You might see them go. And if that's what they want to do for the, the call to order, that's their prerogative. But my kumuhula, one of my kumuhulas, Uncle Kimo, he said all the kumu should have to do is one te. And the, the dancer should spring to action. So we'll be a little bit nicer. We'll give them two te's, and then that will tell them to give the kahea. So I will give the kahea. You go ahead and give me the command. That's you. Oh, 
Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I ayala o pele i Hawaii pa. Okay, then we're gonna get three kahela. That's the ute te beat and one pa. Three kahela, one pa. Ready? Set. Here we go. Ute te, ute te, ute te, one pa. Very good. When we get into the the song, ayala o pele i Hawaii a ke ha a mai la i ma u kele the the verse. We're gonna do kahela eight times. And then we're gonna get a hehi hehi. It's gonna be a kuku u u u te te. Let's try it. Okay, so kahela for a long, long time until I say kuku. Ready? And here we go. Ayala o pele i Hawaii e a ke e ha a mai la i ma u kuku. Aya. Ayala o pele i Hawaii e a ke ha a mai la i ma u kele e kuku. So that cool, cool beat kind of serves as the little break in between. Okay, so let's try that whole thing. This is all we're going to do with Ipu today. Don't worry, this is not a kahiko class, but I just wanted to show you. So we're going to start off. Eames is going to give us that te, te, so that I will do the kahea. To start, we have three kahela, one pa, and then we go into the verses like we just did. Good luck. Here we go. Ai, ai ala o pelei Hawaii pa. Ayala o pele i Hawaii, ayala o pele i Hawaii, e a ke ha a mai la i ma u kele e a ayala o pele i Hawaii, ayala o pele i Hawaii, e a ke ha a mai la i ma u kele e a sorry kuku, my bad, my bad, my bad, I made a mistake. I saw he gave me the look like mm, you're wrong. That's what. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. All right, put your ipu away. Okay, okay. Put the ipu away. All right, at this time, I think it's time for us to get into our hula. You can have a seat, and we are going to review. We have been working on the song, Ayala Opele, as sung most recently by Kuana Torres and Na Pala Palai. It was actually set to music by a woman named May Lobenstein. And I think we have a picture of Auntie May that we can show you. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? She set it to music, but it was actually because of a earlier Kumu who preserved this mele in chant form. His name was Joseph Ilalaole, and there he is. He is a line of hula that I come from. I was lucky enough to learn many of his choreography through my kumu, Le Momi I Maldonado, as well as her kumu, Kimo Alama Kiaolana. So we take inspiration from his chant, from his choreography of the ancient hula, and apply it towards Auntie May's Ayala Opele. So the first verse that we said, Ayala Opele i Hawaii, your left hand stays across your chest, your right hand is going to cross over. I Ayala o Pele i Hawaii, which just means Pele is there at Hawaii Island. Ayala o Pele i Hawaii, and she's dancing. Now, before I go on, I wanted to show you, I found some great photos taken recently at the crater. So I have one on the top and one on the bottom. The one on the top here will show you this uh, on the top was taken on September 29th before the most recent um, action started. Yeah. So before the most recent flow, the, the lava that you see on the bottom of this crater was filled in from about December of last year to May of this year. And then we had a break. No lava, no seismic activity, just a quiet, beautiful, clear view of Hale Mauma'u Crater. Then after September 29th and until today, um, actually this picture comes from I think just a couple of days ago, you see that the lava has started to erupt and down there there's a little fissure down on the bottom. Imagine that bright spot is Pele herself dancing at the edge of the crater in her fiery form so when we say she's dancing there imagine down at the bottom you're seeing that lava and she is just so excitedly viewing her work right she's saying check out that lava it's so awesome yeah okay that's what we're doing right there <laughs> my son and my husband both laughing at me right now 
but you like it, right? You love me. I don't know about these guys. <laughs> Im said, you're laughing too. Okay, so when we turn to the side, she is there, Pele is there at Hawaii Island. She's dancing at the crater there. Okay, ooh, he, ooh, ha. She's going to delve and uh, dig. So your left hand is here, and the right hand is going to go down. Ooh, he, ooh, ha. Then other side. And if you're from the side, it's coming all the way down here by the side of your body and then coming up and then the other side. Okay, so you can see where that's going. So you're going to dig, right, dig, left. Kenomea Elashi is devouring everything all the way to Puna. Now, obviously, this chant was written a long time ago. So this flow that we're talking about extended beyond just the creator. Yeah, it overflowed and spilled out all the way down to Puna. I think we have a picture of um, Hawaii Island map. Can we show that map? Yeah. So you see... Um, Puna right here is that sort of bluish, grayish district closest to me. And the volcano, the volcano, is right between Kau and Puna. So it kind of spilled out in that area. So Kenomea Ela, she's devouring everything in this direction. Kenomea Ela Ia Puna Ea. Then Owaka Ikalani, it's flashing. It's lighting up the heavens. Owaka Ekalani, noke noke, means She's like rumbling. So you're going to make your hands in the kili po'i po'i, which is a cupped clap. You're not going to let your palms touch together. You're going to keep a little space in between. You're going to clap on both sides. No ke, no ke. Oh, no ke. You can keep your hands the same way. You don't have to switch the hands. No ke, no ke. E pele e means oh boy. Pele, she's at it again. E pele, e pele e. Okay? Try just the hands for the first verse. Ayala opele. Ready and here we go. Ayala opele i havai i dancing ke ha amaila i mau ke le dig. Ooh he ooh ha ma he anna e a nom nom ke no me a ela i a puna e a o a ka e kalani no ke no ke e pele pele. That's it. That's it. Okay. So now my uh, trusty assistant here had a suggestion this week, and I think it's a good one. Um, if you remember, there have been some hula where the vamp, we add in a clap. Can you hear the difference, by the way? This is a clap, kind of high pitch. This is the kili po'i po'i, which is meant to mimic the sound of lava bubbles popping. Can you hear the difference? Yeah? So clap, high pitch. Kili po'i po'i, okay, so pa'i is a clap, high. Kili po'i po'i is low. Yeah. So we want to have that kili po'i po'i clap, and we're going to add it before each vamp. So when we get e pele, e pele, kili po'i po'i clap, and then we're going to vamp. Da 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 dum, da 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 dum. Okay? This is a really bubbly, he's a little boy, so I'm going to say it's a farty lava flow. Okay, so this was his idea, all his idea. Okay, e pele, no, I'm just saying, pele, e, it's gas. <laughs> da, 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 okay, so now let's add in the feet. Ayala o pele is going to turn us to this wall. So you're going to turn that left foot out, right foot and right hand are going to go across. Ready, go. Ayala o pele, then reverse on the other side. I Hawaii e then keha amaila when you're dancing, we're just gonna holo right and left. Keha amaila imau kele. Okay, don't come up, way up and way down. This is just at the bottom of the crater. It's just kind of churning there. Okay. Uhi uha. Left hand is across your chest, right hand is digging. Your right foot is gonna do what we call a kavelu, going forward on the right. Uhi uha. And then forward on the left. Sometimes we go forward and back, but this one is going to go forward, forward. Let's check out the va vai cam to be able to see that footwork just a little bit better. Right foot first, ready, go. Ooh, he, ooh, ha, my, na, e, And I want to call to your attention my heels. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this a little bit better. My kumu always said that your heels should be quiet, not pedaling when you do this step. So when you do this step, check out my heels still touching the ground. Yep. And then this side, all the heels touching the ground, okay? What we don't want to see is this with the heel lifting. 
the back heel. See that back heel pedaling up? We want to try to keep it down. So try that. Let's try it. Facing me, right foot first. Ready, go. Forward and back. And forward and back. Great. We'll come back to the regular camera. Add the hands. Ooh, hee, ooh, ha. Right hand, right foot. Ready, go. Ooh, hee, ooh, ha. My, and I, yeah. Very good. Now, I'm teaching this song to my, my students at school, too, and they say, oh, it sounds like they're calling out to the beautiful Pele. You know, because sometimes Pele is a young woman, and sometimes Pele is an old lady, very ugly. But they said, ooh, he, ooh, how there's ooh, ooh. So anyways, if you want to have a little fun with it, there's that counter too. So put your left hand across. You're going to dig and have fun. Go. Ooh, he, ooh, ha, my, na, eh. Now, nom, nom, she's going to no me out. And she's going to eat up all the land with her lava all the way to Puna. We're going to kahola to the right and left. Ready, go. Ke no me a ela ia Puna, eh. Now. At the end of this puna motion, I don't always finish the kaholo. I'm going to kaholo to the left, and then I'm going to hooky that right foot up, OK? If you cannot do that, you have knee problems or are a little bit unstable on your feet, go ahead and finish that kaholo. One, two, three, tap before you do your keno, uh, owaka ikalani. But if you would like to join us on this next level of uh, dancing, you're going to hooky that foot on the left tap. So you're going to go one two, three, hooky, before you burst for forth. Oakae kalani, then we're going to kao. No ke, no ke. E pele, e pele, e. Your hand is going to follow your foot. So the left hand is going to go forward. The left foot is going forward and side and forward. Here's the extra clap we just added. Da, 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 let's do slow motion. Okay, there was a clap there. Da, 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 Ayala, opele. Ayala, opele. I have a, I, e, a. Ke, ha, a, ma, i, la, i, mo. Ke, le, e, a. Ooh, he, ooh, ha. Ma, i, a, na, e, a. Ke, no, me, a, e, la, i, a. Puna e ya. O waka e kalani no ke no ke. E pele e pele e. That's it. All right, you ready to come and join me? We're going to do it slightly faster before we add in the music. The music is really fast. So let's try ayala o pele maybe a, mm, three notches up. Ready? Let's start with the vamp. So we're going to give a kili poi poi clap and then to the right, and then to the left, okay? Ready, and go. Da, 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 da. Ayala opele, turning to the Ayala opele, i hava i i e a. Ke ha ama i la i mo ke le e a. U hi u ha ma i anna e a. Ke no me a e la i a punna e a. O akae kalani no ke no ke e pele e pele e and clap da 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 ayala goes again that like that 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 okay all right we're going to try it with the music now it is very very fast I took the tempo exactly from uh, Kuana Torres and Napalapalai so if you don't like the tempo don't blame me call Kuana. Okay? Just kidding. Don't don't tell him I told you to call. And be like, who that? Okay, ready? <laughs> what? Aya. Aya. Aya la opele That's it. 
Very good. I just heard Im say something, and it took me a second to register. We've been watching a lot of workout videos with Apple Fitness Plus, and usually with the instructors, there's like one person that does the full version, and then one person that does like the modified version. So is that what you were saying? Yeah. So I think he was saying that if, he, if you would like, he could do the simpler version. So instead of doing the hooky and all of that, he could just do the, the regular version. So if you want a slightly toned down version of the choreography, you can watch Eames for those modifications. You want smart bugger. He just came up with that on his own. Okay. Shall we move on? My gosh. Okay. Yes. We lost so much time with that technical difficulty. I'm sorry. Okay. Kamea nani kai paliuliea kepuleloa elaina paliea. This is Im's favorite verse because it has this fun sound to it. Yes, Kuana Torres is his favorite, not mommy's version, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so after you finish your vamp to the right and your vamp to the left, um, in, the, in the ancient version of this chant, I like to reference the ancient version so that you know where these motions come from. In the ancient version of the chant, you hold your hands in a hula motion to the right, for four beats. And that just means the beautiful thing on the green mountain. Okay? Put your hands down. Paliuli is actually the name of a mythical place that was a very lush, wet area where the goddess La Ie Kavai, the princess La Ie Kavai, was raised by her grandmother Waka. Anyways, go look into the story. But it's this mythical place in Puna on the island of Hawaii. Very lush and green. So, it's saying that the light of the volcano could be seen on the green mountains of Puna. All the way from the crater, it was shining to Puna. Kepulaloa elainapali, it was flickering, flashing on the mountaintops. Aya kapalena i Maui. Actually, the light could be seen all the way to the boundaries of Maui. On another island, you could see the light from this volcano. Then, Aino Kaululaau, that is the land over there on Maui, is the land of Kaululaau Ea. Then we already know, Oakae Kalani no ke no ke epele epele. Okay, that's the story of this. Put your hands in a hula motion. So your hands normally in the Kahiko version start like this. Now put your left hand on your waist. Your right hand is going to make that flickering on the mountains. It almost looks like wind. And then you're going to make a cliff. So that's the that ancient version, okay? So for this one, after you kaholo to the left, your hands are going to swing across. Kame anani kai paliuli. We're gonna make that green mountain. Paliuli. Put your hand in the uh, palm. Paliuli. So do you see some of those similar motions? Okay. Swing the hands across. The beautiful thing. Kame anani on the green mountain. Okay. Now leave the left hand there. Your right hand is gonna make that kepulelo motion. Kepulelo. Okay, how was that? Good. Okay, once more, bringing the hands across. Go. Then we get Aya Kapalena. Now, in the first verse, we had Aya La Opele. Now we have aya kapalena. Because we start with that same aya word, we're going to do the same motion again. Left hand across your chest, right hand is going to swing. It said, aya kapalena i Okay, now we're going to complete a set of feet work that kind of looks like a box here. So it's a o to the right. No, not that kind of box. We're going to go o right. And we're going to go O left, then we're going to go O forward, sorry, Kavelu forward and Kavelu back. Do you want to see that on the Vavai cam? I think so. Turn the left foot out and we're going to turn, right foot goes. Right foot and turn, left foot go forward with the right foot, go back with the left. One more time, here we go. Oh, okay. 
just kidding, we're not there yet. Okay, so come back, come back, come back. On Aya Kapalena, I already told you the left hand is across the chest, the right hand is gonna cross. Ready, set, here we go. Okay, so we could see that light and the smoke and the fog all the way to Maui. Aina, you're going to do the land motion. Kaululao is the name of the chief. You're going to bring your hands down by your sides, pull the elbows up, and then flip the hands right here. They don't have to be all the way back here, but they're right here in front of you. If I turn to the side, this is how far they are in front of my head, maybe about eight inches, a little less. This is a chief motion, yeah? So when you do this chief motion, you're talking about chief kaululaau of Maui. So you're gonna do Maui Island. I know kaululaau ea. Guess what? Oa kae kalanino ke no ke e pele e pele kaholo to the right. Da 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 da. Kaholo, swing the hands to the right. Kame anani kai pali uli e. Now freeze right here. This is the only part you don't really know yet. This is gonna be ummies. So we're gonna go this way. So right ummy. Ke pule loa e la ina pal. What's that? So this hand, sorry, put the left hand up. Your right, ha right hand's gonna come up. And let's go over your head and then around. Yes, and then there. That's it, good, okay. Yeah, with the opposite. Your hand kind of goes with the ami. And then, oh, wait. Wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what? Scratch the ami. It's too hard. Kaholo. This way and here. And then we're going to turn to the side. Let's do all kaholo at the beginning. Aina. Back. Kaulula au ea o a kae kalani no ke no ke e pele e pele e and let's go a little faster. Da 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 da. Come and swing the hands. Come and a ni kai pali uli wind overhead. Ke pole loa e la ina pali ea. Ah, uh, all the way to Maui Island, a eh, uh, land of the chief Kaulula, au uh, eh, uh. Oa ka e kalani no ke no ke e pele e pele e. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yes. Ooh. I was trying to do it. It was too hard for me. Sorry. That's a good idea, though. He was like, why don't you try the extra thing, and I'll do the easy one. But it was too hard for me. OK, before we dance it with the music, I did pull a bunch of pictures that I wanted to show you. The first one is this really um, kind of reddish painting that I found. And um, this painting was probably made around the time that Ayala op oh, not made, but this depiction of of the eruption is probably from around the time that this chant, the ancient chant, was written. So I just thought that was kind of interesting that we could sort of not see a photo, obviously they didn't have cameras or iPhones, but that we could sort of see what they're talking about, how the pele, how the lava, just lit up the sky, and you could see it all the way out on the ocean. And I could imagine that even from an island across the, the channel, that you would be able to see it lighting up. So when we talk about Aya Kapolena in Maui, we could see it, we could feel its effects all the way to Maui. This, I thought, really captured it, and this is actually from the time when the original chant that Ilala Ole um, taught that's what this shows. So anyways, I, I just wanted to show that. Do I have any other pictures that I haven't shown? Was that it? Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that I, I, I showed you that one. Okay, are you ready to try Kamea Nani? Quick review before we put it with the super fast. Kaholo to the right, the thing of beauty on green mountains. It's flashing and it's lighting up the pali there. All the way to 
the other lands called Maui of the chief Kaululaoea, flashing in the heavens, boom and boom and Opelishi is the bomb. That's the rough translation, okay? Okay, ready? Come here, Nani. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Come here, Nani. Come here, Nani. Around. Forward, right, and left, back. The beauty on the mountain shining all the way to Maui of Kaulaoea. Weeha! That's it. Very good. I know that was a little bit of a whirlwind. I'm not exactly sure what it was about, but now that Pele knows we're on her side, she's not messing us up, okay? We're gonna try the whole thing, verses one and two. There are actually a few more verses, three, four verses in this song. So we'll continue it each week here in October. Next week we'll do three, and then the following week, week four, and we'll complete it all this month. But for now, I think two verses is plenty. How about you? All right, you ready? Here we go. Come, come, come. Start right on Ayala Opele turning side. Aya. Ayala Opele. Dig down deep. No. Come in and he swing. Come in and he cry for the Turn side. Forward right. grateful to the 27 of you that came back and found us for our stream. Ikalamai, so sorry about whatever was going on earlier. We'll try to troubleshoot it, make sure it doesn't happen again. But we want to end with poi balls, right? Yeah. Grab those poi balls. If you have poi balls, feel free to join us for Hokey Hokey. This one is from another set of islands. This is not from Hawaii. This is from New Zealand. I'm a little out of breath, so I don't know why I don't just stop talking. Okay, are we ready to hokey hokey? Thanks, buddy. Let's hit it. So as I mentioned, every week we will cover one verse of Ayala Opele, each week teaching you a little bit more about the story behind it as well as our modern hula. Got some surveyors in the house. They're making a guest appearance behind my left shoulder. No extra charge for that. Eye candy. Always love a man in uniform. High vis, even better.
didn't get the memo. We're going with teals today. Come on. All right, we hope we've uh, entertained you, if nothing else, today. Well, my friends, I think it's time to go get some coffee or something this morning. Thank you for hanging with us. We so appreciate you being a part of our global hula ohana. From Eames and I, Luke behind the camera, and our entire global hula ohana. Have a great week. Ahui ho.